and New York did the same thing. Because when we stand up, we do have the power. Like the people at Standing Rock who are standing up and standing together. And they are really showing the way for us all. Because they're not just standing up for their human rights. They're standing up for all of our human rights. They're not just standing up for their right to protest without being attacked by attack dogs and pepper spray. They're standing up for the right of all of us to stand up for redress of grievances, to assert our First Amendment rights. They are standing up not just for their water supply, but the water that feeds 17 million people downstream from them and they're not just standing up for their climate, they're standing up for the climate we all depend on. So we say no to the Dapple pipeline. We say no to any new pipeline. Because we cannot afford a single addition. We need to be taking down our pipelines and our fossil fuel infrastructure, not adding to new ones. Because the climate science is telling us. Anybody know about Jim Hansen, the foremost climate scientist out there? He, he hasn't been wrong yet. And what he's saying now is that we have maybe till 2050 or 2060 as soon as that date, we could see as much as 10 or 20 or 30 feet of sea level rise, which means goodbye to all our coastal cities and our coastal population centers, like the island of Manhattan and the state of New York and cities around the Gulf Coast and the country of Bangladesh. So we cannot go there. So the indigenous people are standing up as we all must stand up with the courage of our convictions and the ones that they should be issuing the arrest warrant to is not to the indigenous leaders, not to myself, not to Amy Goodman, but to the CEOs of the Dakota Access Program. They are the true vandals here vandalizing our climate, our water supply, and indigenous burial grounds. That's where the arrest warrants should be. And it's for all of us to be standing up, not only for the climate, not only for Black Lives Matter, not only for the peace that we deserve, but for all the issues of justice for climate justice, worker justice, LGBT justice, for, for student justice.